If you're not live streaming your gaming sessions to more than one social media platform, what are you doing? Seriously, get some help. For real though guys, when you do this thing called multi-streaming, it allows you to grow your brand and audience across multiple platforms at the same time using just one stream. How would you accomplish that using Streamlabs desktop? Well, it's actually quite easy. Let me show you. Right now, you can see my Streamlabs desktop project open here, and what they have added to their software is a thing called dual output. This feature can be easily enabled by going to this icon here next to the sources section, and when you click on that, this is gonna open up your settings menu where you're gonna be presented with your horizontal and vertical canvas options. So under horizontal, you can see that my canvas is a 1920 by 1080. And then if I go to the vertical tab, this is where I can adjust the vertical canvas resolution that I'll be streaming in. So that can either be 720 by 1280 or 1080p by 1920. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to the stream tab. And within here, this is where you can set up the different locations you're going to be streaming to so if you've typically just been streaming in horizontal format to twitch or youtube you probably already have that linked and set up here but if you want to stream to instagram or tiktok in vertical format you're going to want to go ahead and create a streamlabs id it's actually very simple and straightforward to do you're just going to sign up with an email and that will essentially link all of the different social media accounts that you have centrally to one single streamlabs account from there you can go ahead and link your tiktok account it will bring up your streamlabs dashboard and from there you can go ahead and select the merge option and that'll bring up tiktok's website where you can log in using one of the options there and that will link your tiktok with your streamlabs account now when you go back into your streamlabs desktop stream settings you will see the account linked now in order to link your instagram you will need to have your stream url and stream key from this platform in order to stream to it. Once you're good with your settings, go ahead and select the done option to apply those settings. And now you're gonna be presented with your two canvases. The horizontal should be on the left and then your vertical on the right. If you select any of your sources, you're gonna see that they map to both the horizontal and vertical output. Now, let's say you wanna hide certain elements on one or the other outputs. Well, if you just hover over one of the sources, let's go with the face cam border here you can go over to the right hand side and you're going to see two options one is going to be hide from horizontal which is that more landscape looking icon and then the other one next to that is going to be hide from vertical which is that slimmer looking icon so let's say i don't want the face cam border to be in vertical all i need to do is select that option and as you can see it is gone from my vertical output one thing that's missing out of my vertical output is my face cam so that's one thing i did have hidden and i'm going to show it again right here but as you can see the elements within my vertical output are totally jacked up who's gonna watch a stream looking this freaking messy i mean i wouldn't maybe you would so all we got to do is just take and grab the elements just like you would on the horizontal side to be adjusted accordingly on the vertical end it's looking better right since we're playing the game fortnite some of the information that you can see in horizontal you can't see in vertical such as that information on the right hand side where it says how many kills do i have and even when the storm circle is closing in so what i'm going to do is take this elgato 4k x capture card source i'm going to copy it and then we're going to paste it with control v and what i'm going to do here is find that important information on the vertical side and i'm going to select the alt button to bring it in the sides of this source if you're on mac you can use the option key and hold it down to move it in like this but once i have what i want i can just blow it up i think that looks pretty good and then we can go ahead and lock this stuff in the place. And when you do click the lock button, it's gonna lock on both the horizontal and the vertical canvases. So just keep that in mind. Now that we have both outputs set up and ready to go, we can go live by selecting the go live button on the bottom right hand side. This is gonna bring up our go live menu. And this is where we can add an additional destination to stream to. I'm gonna go with TikTok here and that's gonna load up the TikTok channel that I'll be streaming to, Midnight Man. It's gonna be in vertical format. And then for YouTube, that is what it's gonna be in horizontal. Now with TikTok, if you're not approved to go live on their platform, there is a link right 
right here that you can click and that will take you to a page where you can apply to be a streamer on TikTok's site. When you do apply, it does help to have a channel already somewhat established to where they can prove that you are a legitimate creator and you are on that grind, you are trying to hustle, but you're gonna need to add that channel link on in there. It could be from Twitch, YouTube. You will need to provide a screenshot proving that you are the actual owner of the account. But after you do that, you can go ahead and submit it. And literally within like 20 minutes, I was approved to stream on TikTok, <laughs> no joke. Now there are some guidelines to actually keep your ability to live stream on TikTok without having to get reapproved again. But if you are diligently live streaming and you're putting in that effort in time, you shouldn't have to worry about losing your access. Now for both TikTok and YouTube, you can modify the information that is displayed to your viewers. So if you go over to the right hand side, you can modify it here. But if you want to get some more details to tweak, select the additional settings option, and that will allow you to customize your stream settings for both TikTok and also YouTube if you want to specify. Another thing to keep in mind, if you want to stream to more than one vertical and one horizontal platform at the same time, you guys can sign up for Streamlabs Ultra and you'll unlock that ability. Now that we're all good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and select confirm and go live. And that's gonna push us to YouTube as well as TikTok all at the same time. And now we can just have fun streaming. We're gonna see our chat here on the right hand side, as well as our multi-stream chat as well. That way we can interact and respond to everybody's messages here at the same time. Another thing to note is when you do a recording, it will only record the horizontal scenes. Once you're all finished multi-streaming, you can end your stream just as easy as you started it by selecting the end stream option and that will take your stream offline. But that's all there is to it, guys. Let me know your experience using this feature in the comment section below. Shout out to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.